Leslie Meredith with Break Bulk Events and Media, and I am joined today by Jeremy Sutton of Swire Shipping. Thank Welcome. You. Thank you very much. And Jeremy and his company are celebrating not one, but two big anniversaries. Tell us about that. Well, you're right, it's very exciting. It's very exciting. So we've got two birthdays to celebrate at the moment. And we have the Swire Group, the broader group, is celebrating its 200th year anniversary this year for all of its activities around the world. Uh, and then more specifically in China, we have 150th year. Before we move on, I want you to tell me how vessels have changed in the last, you can pick, 250 or 150 years. How, what would it look like? I think uh, 100 and, 140 years ago, so I had the first ships in, in China and they were sailing uh, paddle steamers up the Yangtze River. Um, and so now you see ships that look like all these ones behind us. So I think they've, they've changed quite significantly, right? <laughs> and as we look forward, what, how do you think um, vessels will change as we move forward? What kinds of trends do you see? Well, look, it's a good question. I think at the moment, it's in, in most of the industry, it's, it's about scale and size. Um, uh, which is, uh, I guess, a general response to most industries to these things, and certainly shipping is not immune to that. Um, in the break bulk sector, which we're, we're operating at the moment, we see exactly that. We see competitors putting on, on larger ships. Uh, we see competitors using ships that historically haven't been used for carrying break bulk and bulk cargoes. Why is that? Um, I think it's, it's all about cost, and it's a, difficult, it's a difficult time at the moment. Obviously, the markets are very difficult. Uh, the the, the Asia-Pacific area where we focus mainly in the break bulk sector is certainly not immune to that. And so I think people get innovative and they look to, look to carry cargoes in, in new ways.